And so understanding and appreciating that can lead you to say, do you know what, Elias? You have a 25% reduction in lumbar curve, but your pelvic morphology is such that that is okay for you compared to someone else. And if you had a normal lumbar curve, a 40 degree curve, let's say, uh, elliptical curve, not a circular curve going through the lumbar spine, well, that actually wouldn't be very good for you because that would be too much curve for you specifically. But you only know this if, you, if, you, if you're doing these kind of measurements properly. And a lot, of, a lot of practitioners do not work with any kind of imaging. So they just don't know this kind of stuff. So if, if you have a genuine reduction or hypolordosis in your lumbar spine, it is very commonly associated with those that, that struggle to get better with low back pain. Why? Because we do things every day that are engendering that, low, that flattened lumbar spine. We're spending 9.5 hours a day sitting on the computer. Most of you guys watching this will be sat down. You won't be standing up, right? You're sat down and scrolling on TikTok or watching on YouTube. You're sat down. And so the body does, and if you've had experience with these things, doing remodeling and such, you realize that the body does change based on how it's used. And if you spend 9.5 hours a day sitting down, you're going to start to look like you're sitting down when you're standing up in terms of your spine lordosis will often show signs of being reduced. Now it is a plastic process. It can be changed. It can be increased, which is great, right? Um, but that's my thoughts on that there.